Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our F-14B Tomcat and we're looking at the AFCS, the Automatic Flight Control Systems. When we're talking about the AFCS, we're talking about this panel that I'm going to frame here with the mouse. We can split this into two. Here we've got Stability Augmentation and here we've got Autopilot. Stability Augmentation, these are either on or off and we've got Yaw, so that's the rudders, the roll, so that's the uh, stabilizers and the spoilers and the pitch that's the stabilizers acting together as elevators out of interest we've got our position panel here that shows the flight control position so if i were to wiggle the rudder left and right you can see the rudders or both rudders going if i were to roll left and right you can see the uh, stabilize independent moving stabilizers going left and right and the spoilers on the wings will go at the same time and if I were to pull back and pitch, you can see both stabilizers acting as elevators up and down at the same time. So these three switches act as basic stabilization for those control surfaces. And if you didn't have them on, it would be very hard, if not impossible, to fly this aircraft. From startup, they're going to be on all the time. The only time they would ever come off if, is if there was a problem with the system. And then a solenoid would click and that switch would go to the off position automatically. So that's all we've got for the stability augmentation. Now to the autopilot. So... We've got the engage button here or switch here so with that the off the autopilot is off if we were to engage it to turn it to engage the autopilot is on in one of three modes as shown here sorry about my head moving back and forth it's quite hard to hold this with the track ir note that to turn this switch to engage we need to be within 30 degrees of pitch and 60 degrees of roll otherwise it will be cancelled so the first autopilot mode we're going to look at is the altitude hold. Currently off, but we can turn it on if we like. So we're going to turn it on now. So for the altitude hold to work, we need to be within those parameters as we said before, and we obviously are. So what we can do now is turn the system on with engage. Then we will have this chap here flash or show the AP reference. And then what we need to do is press autopilot reference slash nose wheel steering toggle. So we're going to press that. When we do, this light goes out and we th are then in altitude hold. And you can see it's now holding our barometric altitude. Now, we could actually adjust that altitude slightly. So if I pull back on the stick, as long as I'm not pulling back too hard, I'm now pulling up and you can see the lights come back on. So the autopilot mode is, is now inactive. So I want to go to 7,500 feet, as you can see on the altimeter. Something around there. And I'm going to press nose wheel steering now, and it's now going to level me off and hold this new altitude. It's going to do a bit of wiggling to get there, but it'll get there. And now it's holding me at uh, 7,500. I've still got control of my uh, throttle out of interest. There is an automatic throttle control as well, but we'll, that's for another video. So that's holding us now at 7,500. Now, the cool thing about this is, is it allows me to, to input some roll. So what I'm going to do now is add some roll. And again, you can see the lights come on. So the autopilot is no longer holding. And I'm gonna add a, a nice harsh roll like that. Then press nose wheel steering. And it's on again, a quick cursory check to check the system's still on, and it is. And it's now holding us at 7,500 feet, but it's also holding this bank angle. So if there was a target there, this would allow me to circle around the target while I make some decisions. So next we're gonna look at the heading hold. This one's a little bit more finicky to get to work. So we need to get within parameters. So I am going to have myself aim roughly at the horizon. I'm gonna get less than five degrees roll either left or right so let me just should be okay just about there um, i am now going to turn the uh, altitude hold off i'm going to turn the engage off i'm going to turn the heading on and i'm going to turn the engage back on and we now should be heading uh, holding this heading of uh, 095 that looks like and if we speed up time you can see it's going to hold us on this heading until we run out of gas pretty much as well as that we can have altitude and heading on at the same time so i'm going to go i want altitude as well so that there i'm going to press the nose wheel steering and we're now he now we're going to hold the altitude and the heading okay so next we've got in this switch here gt that's ground track mode and we're going to look into that further on the future navigation tutorial so i'm going to leave that for there for now if we go to this switch here we can see we've got off we've got a uh, vector slash pcd Vector slash PCD isn't implemented, and I don't think ever will, will be as far as I'm aware. It's actually where the aircraft hands over control of the jet to the data link, i.e. someone else who's going to control the jet remotely, probably from an aircraft carrier for reasons, for some reason, the pilot was incapacitated. 
Um, we've also got ACL. That is automatic. I better pause it in case I do something wrong. That is automatic carrier landing. So as it sounds, that allows us to do a full automatic carrier landing in conjunction with a the APC, the automatic power controller. And we're going to look at that later and do a complete video on ACL and APC working to do a fully automated landing. So that covers the scope of this basic video. Don't remember to uh, always turn the autopilot off when you're finished with it. Other than that, I hope that helps and see you later.